Hola, hola, hola guys, it's me and today is going to be a get ready with me, first impressions video, whatever it is you want to call it. Finally, I took out some time to sit down and play with the new Pure by Barbie collection, um, celebrating 60 years of Barbie. You can get these products on the Pure website. Um, you can also get it on hsn.com. That is where I got hsn.com, um, especially if you want to get the entire collection. Um, the price is a little steep if you want the whole collection. Um, as far as I know, they were still doing the easy pay, so you were easy to. Um, it was easy for you to do the payments. Um, I don't know if they still have it. I think they do. So you might want to check that out. I'll put the links below for all the products. So I have not really seen anything. I haven't opened anything. Everything is still in its packaging. Um, so I got the flawless brush, as you can see. First of all, can we just appreciate the packaging? The packaging is just so beautiful. Just a beautiful rose gold with pure by barbie on the packaging i mean it's just gorgeous first of all this is the brush that i'm just going to open right now to show you guys um <laughs> unfortunately I, I i wasn't thinking because it's just automatically i do it um i had already put on my foundation um when i wanted to use the brush to put the foundation on but i'm gonna see if maybe i can maybe contour a little bit with the brush um, so here is the brush as you can see um, these are the bristles which are just they feel so nice and soft but dense it has the uh, traditional Barbie stamp here in pink um, with a white handle that says pure and this is in a beautiful beautiful uh, rose gold um, so that is so pretty um, I want to go into let me see uh, the mask which stupid me I totally forgot about the mask and I wanted to try that on too, but I guess in another occasion I'm going to have to try it on and let you guys know. Um, so here is the mask, which is called Pure by Barbie Glittery Pink, and this is a brightening peel-off mask. Gosh, I can't believe that I totally forgot about these products, <sighs> but it's okay. It's okay. So I want to go into the palette. Um, which here's the packaging right here on the palette the colors are on the back and I'm just gonna I, I mean I saw the outside of the palette and was just blown away because wow just wow do you see this this is just insane packaging beautiful beautiful packaging and this is like these are like real rocks that are like glued in there or whatever you feel the texture um, Got to be careful there because it kind of feels like one wanted to come out. Um, it says Pure by Barbie. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. This is something that you definitely um, want to display on your vanity table, or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and care. Wow. <laughs> this is nice. These colors are nice. Here is the palette. Really, really pretty. I'm just loving, I love the fact that they have these glittery colors down here. Um, you have some mattes, some metallics, looks like a satin color as well. So nice. So I think I'm going to go ahead and dabble into the palette right now. With a terrible, terrible habit of mine, if you guys don't already know, which I'm sure you do, um, is every time I sit down to make a video, I always forget to wash my brushes. I just I just don't understand myself anymore <laughs> okay so let me see you guys already know I have my makeup on um, I am using for reference the Urban Decay Stay Naked um, foundation and the concealer um, I recently did a review on that I will link it below if you're interested um, but obviously I like it if I'm using it <laughs> so all right so I'm gonna go take my fluffy brush which is the Morphe M441 um, and is one of the cleanest ones I have <laughs> Um, so I'm going to just, I don't know, I guess to go in with this, this nice light brown here, um, which is the color, what color is this? Roll model. So I'm going to just lightly dip in it because since I don't really know, um, how pigmented or dark the color is, 
and I'm just gonna oh it actually has pretty nice pigmentation I kind of want to do just because I saw that really nice hot pink color I think I want to do like an all hot pink eye I haven't done that in like forever um, but I just wanted to see how this would look as a transition this color it's actually really nice um, I'm putting it on with a light hand because there is um, a good amount of pigmentation so obviously if I was to put more it would be darker um, but I'm gonna be keeping this color light and I am simply just blending it with circling motions up onto the brow bone so I'm just gonna do that and I think yeah I think I want to do an all pink eye I hope it looks okay because you know when you want to do an all bright color I mean the color has to be pigmented you know they're colors that you know they are tricky you look at them in the you know in the palette and then you put it on your face on your eyes and then you're like this color is not pigmented at all <laughs> so that's like the worst thing ever so I'm hoping that this pink but I I am being positive um, because I believe that that color is definitely um, going to be pigmented so I'm gonna finish this off and then I'm going to go into the pinky color okay so um, I blended that little color in I'm so glad I got my eyebrows done because they look so much better um, so I'm going to go and tap into this hot pink shade that is right here and that is the color Ah, Barbie <laughs> it just suited the name completely um, so I'm gonna switch my brush I'm gonna use this brush from Betsy Johnson um, it's just more of a concentrated brush bristles are a little bit more dense um, a little bit harder so that I can get the ultimate payoff and this color actually looks kind of satiny and uh, we're gonna I'm just pressing it into here um, the pigment and let's see I'm gonna start on my lid <laughs> I'm gonna start on the lid and then just pack it on and then once it's packed on then obviously I'm going to start blending it into the crease so this is going to be the easiest way for you to make you know a hot pink eye or a smoky eye um, whatever you would think um, to call it this is really the easiest way just to pack it on your lid and then blend it upward now this is a very pretty color um, it's a little I mean it, it 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 has the pigment you can see the pigment um, I'm gonna have to pack it a little bit more though it looks like um, and I'm gonna probably mix it with a color I don't know if maybe Cause this color is kind of yeah this is like a glittery thing going on um they also have this dark purple one so i might mix it with this really dark purple color that you see here um that is this one here in the pan um and that one is called what dream Mo dream topia <laughs> dream topia okay these are very 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 um you know barbie-ish names <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and keep packing this here. Now since I'm to the top um, and I'm going into the crease so I'm going to start little by little blending into the crease. I like this brush a lot. So I'm going to do that. Um, yeah let me keep going working on this eye. Okay so I did both eyes. I really like this color. It's really pretty um, and it's very vibrant. Um, it blends really well um, and I kind of like how it looks by itself it kind of looks almost avant-garde I kind of don't even want to use that dark purple um, gosh I'm scared that I might mess it up if I actually do use it <laughs> um, but I really do like this color um, I think that maybe I might use I don't know maybe on top just to blend a little bit this light really really light color this is called pretty in pink um so this is wow it's so pretty and just the lightest pink ever you can totally see it right there um i think i want to put it just right on top of the pink it just gives it such a nice glistening effect 
um, a really nice highlighting effect. It looks so nice. Now I know this is uh, definitely not the traditional look that you're going to use. I mean, I wouldn't go to work wearing this. Well, maybe. <laughs> well, summer's coming to an end, so unfortunately I won't be able to do these looks much longer. But yeah, so I really like how that looks. Um, I guess for the sake of the video, I guess maybe I should go in, into that dark color, see where I'm going to put it. Um, I think I'm going to use the M456 Morphe, which miraculously is clean. <laughs> so I'm going to go and dip into the dark color. All right, I'm not really liking how it's picking up on the brush though. So here's the color right here. So you can see it's a very, very dark, dark purpley plum. Um, man, I really don't want to use it, but I'm going to try and I guess <sighs> just put it in the crease, see how it's going to look, you know, just like shut up Joanna and put it in there, you know, oh Lord. All right, let's see what happens. I think I'm already, uh, I don't like it. Let's try and do what I can, I guess. Okay. Alright, so uh, what I did here was I went into that dark color and I put it in the crease and blended it out, blended and blended and blended so that it can fall nicely into the pink, which it did. Um, so I do like how this looks. Um, now my question is, do I leave it like this? Do I put some type of glitter? I actually don't want to put glitter. I actually like how this looks. I think it looks really nice and edgy. I really like it a lot. <laughs> um, I'll decide if I put something on the bottom. I don't know if I want to. I have this issue with my eyeballs that um, it just, they tear for nothing. So I'm going to put very lightly on the bottom. And I guess if I want to later on. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it like that. So, I haven't tried all the colors. I only tried three. But so far, the ones that I tried, I liked very much. Very pigmented. I really like um, how nice and blendable the colors are. Um, I think with maybe the darker purple, um, I think it was kind of maybe a little bit, just a tiny bit chalky, that dark purple. But once you really saturate your brush and you really start to work with it and blend with it, um, carefully blending the palette, um, I think that eventually you will get the color to work. Um, so that's what I'm going to say about that. So I'm going to go ahead and take a brush and I'm going to finish, I'm going to um, brush off the leftover powder that I have here. Luckily. I did that and I like doing that especially when I am dealing with bright or dark colors um, you know because the fallout you know if you get fallout on your face it's gonna look a mess so if you're going to use colors um, you know that are bright or dark um, and you are like me just because it's a habit um, some people will do their eyes first and then put on their makeup um, by habit I just always put on my foundation first um, so if you are like that, I suggest that you put a lot of powder under your eyes. I like to put my powder up here in an angle. Um, so when you do have fall off from the brush, uh, you know, from doing your eyes, you just take a fluffy face brush and just nicely flick off the powder and you will be left with no powder. So I'm going to finish doing this and then we're going to go into the next product. I really like this eyeshadow. It's just so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. I kind of didn't want to, but I'm going to because I always say I don't want to and I end up doing it. <laughs> so here's my dynamic trio in case you haven't been long enough here to see um, what I use on my lining. Um, all these products are from Kat Von D. I use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner um, to tight line. I use her lash liner, even though this is for the waterline. But I love using it to tight line um, because pencils just horribly smudge all over me. Um, and then to darken on top after using lashes, I like to use the liner X from Kat Von D. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that off camera and I will be back. Okay, I'm back. So my eyes are aligned. So 
um since there was no you know they didn't have a like a contour blush or anything like that the collection didn't have that um the collection however does have a highlighter um so i'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the packaging all of the packaging is the same by the way just want to let you know so if i don't show you the packaging on everything it's basically because the same uh the packaging is the same as the palette it's so pretty i'm telling you i you really got to appreciate the effort that they put into putting this holy moly all right so well so here is the highlighter right here pure by barbie and this is the dream glow signature highlighter palette so i want to see if i was too wow this is very very bronzy and you can put them separately because it looks like there's going to be three colors there's like a goldish little color here um this is like a bronzy color right over here um, and then this looks like maybe a rose gold color. Um, so I'm going to see how it goes. It looks really it looks really glittery though. Like there's a lot of glitter in it. So if there, if that's your thing, um, then you're definitely going to like this glitter. So I'm going to try and just, just warm up my face a little bit. Because Laura knows that I am a vampire. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to use this brush. Um, I think I should probably have used a smaller brush. Um, but just for the sake of the video because I did not use this brush. So um, I'm going to be using again the Tardiest Pro Glow Palette. Um, and I'm going to be going into this color right here. Um, so let's see what happens. Um, again, this really isn't... Um, you know this isn't the ideal brush for this i just want to get the feel of it so wow <laughs> it's very pigmented i'm definitely gonna have to blend this out possibly with another brush if this color does not if this brush doesn't cooperate again um this color is not not for contouring <laughs> um the brush is just too big i just want to get the feel of it and just see or maybe I can make it work all right so far I do like the brush it feels really nice um definitely have to blend that out a little bit more but I do like this brush it feels nice and soft and let's see what happens it's so pretty I want to like wash it okay so I was able to blend it out <laughs> so that's better now um yeah, so if you, you know, this brush, it's not really ideal. It's really more for, I'm going to say, like, foundation. I mean, I guess you can, um, but it just feels a little uncomfortable in my hand for myself personally. Um, also, letting you know that this is a plastic handle, so as you can see, it does, it does give way. So, I guess just be careful with the force, I guess. Um, so, for blush, I'm going to use the Tarte Double Beauty, what? Double Duty Beauty. Um, make every moment count so I'm using these because these are pinks since I'm going to be very pinky today and I'm going to just go into this big pink shade right here and just put some on my cheek mix that in with the contour or the bronzer and then I'm gonna give that highlighter a try I mean, I guess you can mix up the highlighter. You can mix all colors. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Only because that bronzy color looks a little too dark. But usually, it'll appear that way. And then when you blend it out, it's not so bad. Alright. So. Alright. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and try out this highlighter now. I don't know if I should swerve it all together. Or maybe I should just... Maybe I should go one by one, just to see how it looks. Um, let me see, what highlighter brush should I use? I'm going to use this one because I do like this one. I tend to go to this one a lot. Um, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, here's the thingy. Oh, uh, gosh. What is that? Listen, it's a highlighting brush. <laughs> I'm trying to give you the name, but like it's etched in the gold and a mist glam. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to first go into this little corner up here because it looks like it's like a pinky rose gold. Yikes, this is a lot of product. It's really glittery. I don't know if the camera picks that up. I'm going to see how it looks. Let's see. Make my mirror a little brighter. 
Wow. Okay. There it is. Wow. Well, there's there there's definitely no issue on how it applies. Um, it definitely applies. This is one application. Um, it's definitely on there. It's very glittery. It's very glittery. So I'm just letting you know that if you are not a glitter person, um, this highlight may not be for you. Um, if you like glitter, um, then you're gonna like this highlighter. I don't know if I can, if you would see it or not, but it's definitely glittery. Um, I don't know if I should go into the other colors or not. Let's see. So I'm going into the middle one. This is, yeah, see, this is the middle color. That's why I didn't want to use it on my face because I knew that it was going to be dark. So that is this big chunk right here. And then in the mid, in the corner down here is a gold color. So let me see the gold on the act. See, here's the gold one. That is super dark. I don't even know if I want to dabble into that or not. I'm going to lightly step into all three just to see how it looks. Sure, if I keep it light, I'll be safe. <laughs> But yeah, this is definitely glittery. I wonder how it look. I wonder how it look wet. <laughs> you guys know how I am with that already. You know what? I'm going to. I'm gonna wet my brush. I want to see how it looks wet. Okay. So I'm just gonna. I just have the Urban Decay these right here. I just wanna. Just wanna see how it looks. So I'm gonna dip into the brush or dip the brush into the pan again. I'm gonna wet it and just see how it looks. I like to test. Mm. yeah definitely you see it a little more for sure for sure so that's gonna be up to you wow <laughs> that's crazy yeah that's crazy blinding y'all so definitely if it's wet you're definitely gonna get more out of it so let me finish this off and I'll be back okay so I ended up blending the highlight a lot more um, and I actually did tone it down a little bit with some translucent powder um, because it, 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 you know, it has a pink shift in it, the rose goldy one. So it was just looking like a, you know, like a slab of pink, a slash of pink across my face. Um, and that really, you know, it wasn't the effect that I wanted. Um, I didn't like that very much. So, um... So I toned it down a little bit. So the highlight is still there. You can see it's still there. Um, but I, I just toned it down a little bit because when I wet it, um, it was just a little too much. So I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put on lashes. So I'm very excited about the lashes that came in. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to look at the lashes now. Here are the Pure by Barbie lashes. Barbie Dull Lash to be exact. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of the packaging. So here is how they look. And let's see how they look on my face. I am, you know, kind of sort of picky about lashes because, you know, a lot of them, you know, <laughs> look kind of funky on me they look great on other people but on me it's something else um so yeah Ooh, kind of look hmm so here's the style right here very nice all right let's do this <laughs> listen these lashes are cray cray like do you see this <laughs> no these are these are like crazy like am i gonna be able to get away with that i don't know me huh oh my gosh i feel like i also should have cut them i feel like they're definitely i don't know feel a little too big i don't know maybe i should put on the other <laughs> i put away the uh, put on the other one. Oh god um, okay, so here's the other one. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm getting used to them now. They were, they're just really out there. Like, do you see this? Like, do you see the profile? Like, they touch my eyes. They touch my eyebrows, y'all. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, 
I guess I'm getting used to them now. They're really dramatic. They're very dramatic. I was going to cut them, but I kind of... I don't know. I wanted to wait. I didn't want to ruin them. Maybe I can cut them up another day. I just wanted to see how they looked, you know, um, complete, you know, without cutting them. So, but yeah, these lashes are cuckoo crazy, y'all. <laughs> you, you like cuckoo crazy? These are for you, sweetie. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead. All right. I'm going to let that dry a bit. I'm going to put some extra liner on the band, which is what I... Um, always do and then we're going to pick a lip color um, I have two lip colors and a high shine lip gloss so I want to see how that works out all right um, alrighty so I picked two lipsticks that I like I think there were like three or four um, but only two really stood out to me so again here is the packaging all the same the lipstick itself do you see how beautiful this packaging is? You're looking at an all glitter lip capsule. Uh, the packaging is absolutely amazing, beautiful. Um, it feels luxurious, has a nice weight to it. So pretty. And what I like about it, how do you open it? You just press on that. Oops. Hey, what's going on? Oh, whoops, I, I was doing it the wrong way. It's up here. So up here it says Pure by Barbie. And you're going to actually press up here, not on the bottom. And out comes the lipstick. Oh! So this is just beautiful. It says Pure by Barbie. So here is one of the lipsticks. I'm going to obviously say this is signature. And there is glitter. I mean, the lipstick is all glitter beautiful beautiful this color is called legendary um so i'm going to leave that here um, i'm going to show you the other color really quickly um this color oh that was the gloss okay i found the other color okay so this color um is called classic Oof. and this is i mean you can see the glitter it's crazy <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch. I'm like running out of space on my arm. So here is this color right here. Which is a very dark, um, I mean it's a dark nude. Well it's dark for me because I'm just so freaking light. Um, and then this color right here which is going to be a dark hot pink which is pretty much going to be the color that I'm going to be wearing. Um, that is the color right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on just to see how it looks. Uh, I'm noticing, I don't know if the glitter stays on the lipstick. I don't know if that's just, you know, like the packaging, like for prettiness. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Okay, so there really isn't glitter in the lipstick. Womp womp. Mm, I'm kind of disappointed about that. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that there was. So the glitter is essentially um, just, you know, on the outside of the lipstick. Uh, I, I'm, it's a nice color. I was just hoping that there would be glitter on it. Mm. Okay, so here's the color I'm wearing. This is Legendary, which is a beautiful hot pink. Um, formula feels nice. It's, it's kind of, it's creamy. Um, but it's kind of, it's not, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's not the easiest thing to glide on. It's kind of, you kind of got to like, you know, um, I don't know. I guess it's like a little bit on the thick side of the formula. It's kind of not the easiest to glide. Um, but when you do have it on, it does feel creamy. Um, and it feels like over time it probably would dry a little bit to have kind of like that resistance and not transfer. Um, I don't know if that's the case again because you know this is my first time using these products um, but that's kind of what it feels like to me um, again there is no color in these lipsticks um, they are on the side of the lips uh, the lipstick itself but um, it's not in the lipstick so I was kind of sort of disappointed about that I was hoping that there was gonna be glitter in it but there's not um, so yeah, um, so one other thing, um, they also included a lip gloss. So here is the lip gloss. This is, um, let me see, what is it called? The Girl Gloss. 
so signature high shine gloss I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on top um, this is this definitely has some glitter in it Ooh. the applicator is big girl <laughs> so I'm just gonna dab some on here oh this is pretty I mean these days I'm not really so much into gloss um, but again for the sake of the video and just seeing how it would be it kind of smells actually <laughs> I don't like how the lip I, I, it kind of stinks the lip gloss I mean yeah I kind of it's I don't like the smell it kind of reminds me the best thing that I, and I don't even know if you guys will even remember because it's just so long ago but there was Revlon had these um lips uh, not lipsticks nail polishes um and they it, I had a clear one and it smelled so bad it smelled like chemical like really chemically um that I would use it and I would just I would get a headache from how it smelled that's the best thing I the, I think that's the best description I can give you it just smells like really chemically I don't really like that um so I'm not really a gloss person as it is and I will probably use that less now just because I don't want to it just smells <laughs> so that <bleh. laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and set my face I'm gonna be using the Too Faced peach mist Alright guys, so here is the final look. Um, so in case you didn't notice, I did put some um, eyeshadow on the bottom of my eye. Um, I just went and used the same two colors, the pink and the purple, um, and blended that out. I also went back and used the really light glittery shade, um, which is this one right here, or more of a shimmery shade. Um, and I also put that in the corner extending to almost the middle of the eye. Um, just wanted to finish that off I think it kind of looks more complete now um, so yeah so this is the look I hope you like it um, I did enjoy all the products the lip gloss <laughs> um, I don't care for it if you're a lip gloss person um, maybe you'll enjoy it I just want to let you know that it kind of just has like a chemically scent um, and I personally don't like that um, just wanted to let you know the lipsticks are very nice I love them the packages is is uh, beautiful um, the colors are also beautiful um, the only disappointing thing was that I personally thought that there was gonna be glitter in it there is no glitter in it just glitter around the lipstick itself <laughs> so that was kind of disappointing but other than that the colors really are beautiful um, I really do enjoy the lipsticks um, the highlighter the highlighter is nice if you are a person who likes really glittery um, highlighter then you're gonna like this the fact that there are three different colors in there there's a bronze there's a gold and there's a pinky um it gives you you know obviously the variety of either using them separately or blending them and making them into a shade but again it's very very glittery so if you are not into glitter if you're not feeling it too much then i recommend you just skip it um yeah so that's it <laughs> um the mask i'm going to have to try it out unfortunately i completely forgot about the mask um the brush is really nice i really do enjoy the brush i think it's so beautiful if even if you don't use it um you can definitely just have it on your vanity as a collector's item very soft and dense brushes it's definitely going to get um, your color to how you want it whether you're using it for cream foundation or whatever cream or powder product that you're going to use with that brush the lashes as you can see the lashes are kooky crazy now I was gonna cut them but I decided not to because I wanted to see how it looked if I didn't cut them I am getting used to them <laughs> I'm getting used to them so I don't know maybe I won't cut them maybe I'll cut them a little bit um, but yeah I do like them um they're kind of poking me a little bit um but I'll get used to it girl <laughs> and um yeah so that's about it I think I covered everything if I'm not mistaken um yeah that's it so the collection I like two thumbs up I totally recommend this collection to you um do you have to get every single thing no if there's some things you can skip on absolutely skip on them I mean there were more colors in the lipstick I just picked you know two colors that I thought personally 
I would use so that I don't keep other things laying around, you know, collecting dust. So thank you for watching, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll put the link below to all of these products. And um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and um, thanks for watching me. If you're new, please like this video. Please subscribe. Please let me know what do you want from me. <laughs> <laughs> and I will do my best to bring that to you. So I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.